Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 The Elder Kings mod, where we are playing as Emperor Theodore Cassander V of Tamriel. Well, folks, they've been a thorn in our side for centuries. The Piandonian raiders, who have attempted to sack the capital, and in some cases successfully sacked it more times than I can count. They have been a scourge, a plague that has affected our empire for far too long. Well, today we have the cure for that plague, and that plague is sending a, lot, a huge army at it and conquering it. So, it, it, the, the whole disease metaphor is kind of falling apart here. The point is, I'm going to conquer Piandonia, and the Piandonians are not going to be able to stop me, because uh, these, uh, these two forces I have uh, total uh, more than their total force. Although, not by all that much. But I have a feeling we have quality on our side as well. So we are going to Warlord conquer Pandonia. And this should be the last truly great war, uh, truly sizable war we fight in this series. And the, the Satiate Kingdoms look powerful though. I wonder if that's not worth an attempt. I really would welcome your feedback on this. Uh, if you're sick of this series and want me to end it, uh, once I actually uh, encompass all of Tamriel, please let me know. But uh, if you would like to see me uh, take on the... Uh, to uh, give those snake men what's, what's for, I'll, I, I, I'd, be, I'd be down with that too. But I've got, I've got other ideas, even within Elder, Elder Kings, of what to do next in CK2. And in other Paradox games as well. So, I have uh, no problem with moving on. Ah, oh, the Dancing Plague. I'd forgotten that was in uh, the uh, Elder... Uh, that, that was in Elder Kings 2, as well as in the base game. Uh, yeah. Where's the Dancing Plague? Yeah, it's happening in, uh, it's happening in Somerset. Ah, so there's the bulk of their army coming to attack me right there. We have a defensive bonus in the mangrove swamps. And they don't have any commanders. This may not have been wise of them. So yeah, we've completely sacked their capital, or taken it. Looking for less welfare fortified territories so I can assault them rather than, you know, waiting an eternity to siege them down. Okay, 100% Pandonia is ours. We've accomplished what Tiber Septim could not. Of course, uh, Helped that uh, Orgum, Orgnum's been dead for centuries. Yes, but it appears that all we could do would uh, was to uh, vassalize her, rather than uh, taking anything she held directly. 
Which I, I'm not sure why that was the case, but oh well. Any case. I'm going to be dealing with bringing as, ma bringing as many home as I dare from Pandonia. Get ready to finish up Vardenfell and uh, the rest of our du jour territories, and that will be it for Tamriel. So yes, Theodore the Finisher. The one who did the job. Okay, and uh, just so we don't forget uh, Castle Volkahar, which... Uh, which has uh, been out of the hands of House Volkahar for a while now, but... And as soon as I take care of uh, Alaka Revolt number 19. <laughs> anyway, I don't know when they'll both get there. Hopefully both at the same time. But, yeah, only we have the numbers for this. It's a big risk of a lot of men, but it looks like we've paid off. We've become a more proficient commander as well. And it would appear, yeah, Iola had another daughter. But yeah, Castle Volkar is quite an impressive fortification indeed. So we're just going to need to sit on that for a while. So, now we are secretly Cult of Azura which allows us to make use of Azura's star once again. Well, we've uh, tor also torn down the statue that this dude built of himself. And that'll do it for Volkahar. Next, we'll take Roskria, and then I think Kafnokwe, just so we have something to give to uh, Gorin's children, Gorin's Chimeri children. One of the last pieces of de jure territory that uh, belong to our empire is... Roskria. So we're gonna go after that now. They've got quite a few men, I think, uh, for a uh, for a for you know a duchy of that size. Not compared to us, but yeah. Gonna just take that from them. Be something to give to a family member, I think. Ah. Uh. Now we are a mystic. Frankly, it seems as though that should be our uh, cognomen. Theodore the Mystic, as opposed to Theodore the Wise again, because there's always already been a Theodore the Wise. Yes, the Roskrians will fight valiantly with all they have. But it isn't going to be enough. Not for our legions. Ah, 
Oh, that is a high, high plot strength for killing this uh, Roskrian leader. Ah, uh, the uh, exploding poop one is a, is kind of a favorite of mine. Died in the poop explosion. Excellent. And now we have a good old Nine Divines leader in Roskria instead of a Daedra worshipper. Well, I say this as a Daedra worshipper myself, but. I think, I think, I mean, he was a Namira worshiper. Namira is one of the bad ones. Side switch, I got nothing against the Nine Divines. One of them is my ancestor. I'm doing this all for, I'm doing this all for Talos, baby. Good old Teddy, too. In the meantime, let's make good on our promise to Rosa Cassandra. Make her the Duchess of Kathnaque. And invade the rest of Kathnaque as well. Make her the Queen. And I think that would... I think once we do that, that'd be a good place to end this episode, possibly this series. Again, all dependent on your feedback. If you'd like to see me uh, try and invade Akavir, let me know. And that does it for Kathnoque. Of course, I think... I think for the uh, sake of it, I should finish off uh, the territory I have left to conquer in Tamriel. Maybe get uh, one of the other islands first. And leave it there just before I start invading Akavir proper. I think that's a better leaving point for the end of this episode. So, yeah, false alarm, we're not quite done yet. Stay tuned, folks. So, let's get to it, won't we? Invasion of the Islands. Actually, let's land not, not so directly. Land to cut them off. Let's bring the other army over as well. These boys will be more than enough. The Siege of Nod. I wonder what the source of this particular Akavir and um, the Islands map is. It's a pretty good one. You know, one, one, once you get used to Akavir just not being a single mass. Oh, he's gained Brave. Excellent. 
That is awesome. Just everything keeps coming up Theodore. But he's lost the trait diligent. Stinks for education wise, but oh well. Huh, so it looks like the Kamal have unified into one kingdom, one empire. That's interesting. It'd be problematic if uh, we weren't uh, still as powerful as we are. Um, in, uh, in the second era of the, uh, of the game's timeline, uh, the, uh, the Kamal invaded Skyrim and uh, caused a lot of trouble before being put down by a, uh, an alliance of uh, Argonians, Nords, and Dunmer. So, yeah, I suspect that's not happening, but still. Alright, we have now conquered the islands. But yeah, there's the islands. We have to take care of these revolters too. Slightly annoying, but that's how it goes. So now that we have conquered all of the intermediate islands, that leads us only to land in northern Akavir proper. Now I think the canonical place where Tiber the where um, where uh, Uriel the Fifth landed was about here. Given the description of the uh, the uh, geography that's given in Disaster at Iron Ionith, but uh, given where the islands are, I'm going to start here in the north because you know, I mean, Uriel lost, and we don't want to lose. So let's do the thing that will make us not lose. Although, who oh boy, those are a lot of dudes they've got. We will need to face a uh, face off against a uh, against a defensive pact as well. Theodore might actually end up being the best of the three children I have. Before I forget, let's take care of Ardenfell. Well, we now have somebody trying to declare on uh, Inslee. Okay, they're attacking into Sa into Sadrith Mora, but they were crossing at the wrong time. Well, they were any time at all would be a bad time to cross when they have when you have almost when you when they you have only barely more troops than the defenders do. But still, maybe could have waited for those extra three thousand men. So there's Vardenfell. Gonna get these these folks over to Necrom. Take the last bit of more wind we haven't taken yet. I am not at present interested in uh, Yokuda or uh, or Admora. Just Akavir right now, so. 
So let's finish the temple, won't we? It seems fitting that the last battle of the Tribunal Temple, and indeed of all of Tamriel, should happen here in Necrom, the City of the Dead. It seemed poetic to me, anyway, and it's, it's also considered to be like one of the far corners of Tamriel. They, it's, uh, it's an expression from Daggerfall to Necrom. So, the final corner is the final corner we have conquered. Anyway, let's cure her typhoid. Right, so there's the entirety of Tamriel proper. And now that I have built an army headquarters and shifted uh, my uh, military obligations toward primarily being retinue based, I can build a much, much bigger retinue, which is, you know, good. I'll be much less uh, dependent on, uh, let's say, uh, on uh, so many mercenaries for any future conquests I may uh, be planning. Really, this is more how the Empire should do it, to have their legions. So, that will do it for this episode. If you would like to see more than just one more, uh, let me know, but there will be at least one more. At the very least, a summary of where I will be once we reach uh, the end of the footage I've recorded. But whatever occurs, it's going to have to wait at least two more days. So, until then, I have been Marikati, you have been you. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.